Hello, this is Michael Jones. Today I'll be doing a review on this M.2 NVMe SSD enclosure made by Arico. Now, uh, this is an NVMe enclosure and not a SATA SSD enclosure, M.2. So uh, just keep that in mind. If you have a SATA SSD that's M.2, it will not work in this enclosure. Um, as you can see here, it says it's 10 gigabytes a second. And that's um, up to 10 gigabytes a second. So if you want really fast speeds and you have an NVMe SSD and your computer can handle those speeds and you have an NVMe SSD in your computer that can handle those speeds, then it could be a very useful thing to buy. So you could open it up and come with a whole bunch of things in here. Here is the uh, user guide. This is a thermal pad for M.2 uh, M NVMe SSDs. They can get really hot so, it's hot, so it's really good to have a thermal pad to uh, cool it down and to transfer the heat over to the heat sink. And we'll see that in a second. Here's USB-A to USB-C running the USB 3.1 Gen 2 protocol. And this is C to C. I'm guessing also running the USB 3.1 Gen 2 or whatever they call it nowadays. Basically the protocol that can run 10 gigabits a second. Um, uh, 10 gigabytes a second. And of course they made everything so confusing so we don't really know which protocol is which. However, it is one of the faster protocols. Here are the um, tools that it came with. Uh, two screws and two rubber mounts. Obviously I used one of each already because I have it already set up. That's why there's only one inside. And a special, this is a Torx bit by the way. A mini Torx bit, so uh, not a regular, uh, not a regular flat uh, um, Phillips head. So you gotta keep that in mind. You'll need this tool to actually uh, take out your SSD and use it. Um, you can obviously use your own screws, but might as well use the ones here. And here's the actual enclosure. Outside, this is plastic. This is a metal heat sink, and very good for transferring heat to because NVMe SSDs do get very hot and this um, heatsink can actually keep it cool together with the heat sink, the, together with the thermal pad. Now you open this one screw over here and this slides right off in some direction. There we go. Okay, and this is made out of aluminum or metal or something like that. And as you can see, I have my SSD already plugged in. Now this comes right out it doesn't actually have anything holding it in, which it's meant to come out so that you can put this in. Uh, originally when I bought this, it said that there was going to be some kind of turning thing here. So that way I'll be able to easily install the 2280. As you can see right here um, in the picture, it was supposed to have it at the end. However, it does not, as you can see right here, that little tab. I'm going to point to it with the enclosure. That little tab right there, it was supposed to be here, but it's not. However, these rubber tabs work just fine. I use my own um, I use my own thermal pads because that one was too big. So I just use this one. And this fits nicely into here, USB-C. You can just even use it over here with, you don't even need to put it inside of the case, but obviously um, you might want to put it in just so that you have a case for it. Um, and this rubber thing, you have to push it all the way in. It's not so easy to push it in, but I got it in eventually. You just gotta push it in and then run the SSD in between it. So yeah, it's not the easiest thing in the world, but eventually I got it. Make sure the SSD is perfectly inside. Once it is perfectly inside, then <clears throat> you can take the cover and slide it back on. Make sure that it's all the way in. Once it is all the way in, you can put this back on. And yeah, it's not the same as showed in the video, but this is the one that I got and it works. Honestly, I would have really liked the closing tab, but I didn't have one. Okay, we got it all closed up. And I can test the speeds right now and show it to you. So I got this plugged into my USB 3.0 port right here. And let's see the speeds that I'll get. And as you can see, there's a light and it shows you that it's powered on and it's being read. I'm going to copy on the 6 gigabyte folder so that way I will see what the speeds are. And it's transferring at 341 megabytes a second which is super fast, so we know this is working well. And in just a few seconds, it'll be finished. As you can see here, it's blinking because it's transferring. Well, it just finished transferring, so it stopped blinking. As you can see, uh, the transfer was complete and it was transferring really quickly, so that's how we know it was working well. Thanks for watching, I hope this helped you uh, make a decision. I really do like this Orico. 
uh, SST enclosure, and uh, I hope that you enjoy this video.